Hey, what's going on? Steven here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be starting our new franchise review series. I'll have to increment this in along with Halloween whenever October hits. Um, I'll be doing the Halloween movies, uh, the movie series, and I'll probably just do these in between them if I can. If not, then I'll just continue it in November. But we're going to be hitting the Paranormal Activity franchise. I don't know why I got the itch to watch these movies. Um, I have not seen all of them. This first one, Paranormal Activity, is the only one that I obviously... Uh, remember just because I just watched it for the review. Um, I watched it before as well uh, quite a while ago and I remembered it then but I wanted to get a fresh rewatch because it's been a very long time. All of the others in the franchise I don't think I have seen. I probably have seen clips of them just because Paranormal Activity has been very popular and I, I'm in the horror community so I'm sure I've seen clips of them. I remember when Next of Kin came out not too long ago I was seeing the trailer for that one but I was not really excited for it because I haven't seen the previous movies. And for a long time, Paranormal Activity has not been a franchise that really enticed me or intrigued me. Um, I just now suddenly got the urge to watch them. It's September now. It's getting into October. I don't know why. I feel like it's a really good franchise to watch during this time. And I really wanted to tackle it on the on the channel just because I think it'll... It'll flow in good with the Halloween movies just to get that diverse well, paranormal aspect and a slasher aspect during the Halloween season. And I think it, they'll just flow off each other very nicely. Um, and the fact that I have not seen most of them, just this first one, and there's, I don't know, six or seven more of them or five, five or six more of them. Um, so I'm excited. I'm always excited to watch new franchises that I've never seen before. And Paranormal Activity is obviously a huge horror franchise and it, this first one was groundbreaking for Blumhouse Productions, now a gigantic horror uh, production company. I'm ready to tackle these movies, so without further ado, let's jump into the first film, Paranormal Activity, released in 2007 and directed by Oren Pilly. <laughs> So like I said, this is a found footage movie, as is, I think, all of them. Um, this one tells a basic story of a couple that is experiencing these paranormal, this paranormal activity in their house um, that is directly connected to the girlfriend. Um, it's just a girlfriend and a boyfriend living in this house. This boyfriend buys a gigantic camera and decides to record everything. Since they have been experiencing these unexplainable phenomena, it just goes night by night or day by day, night by night. And it should, gradually gets worse and worse. I mean, each night it comes up, it'll say night one, night two, night three. You'll notice something a little bit more happens. A door moves and then that door moves the next night. Something else moves the other night. The blanket flies off the bed the next night. Um, stuff like that. And it for a found footage film, it actually does pretty good. I think the characters are acted fairly well. Um, I'm sure back in like 2006, 2007, you could probably convince a lot of people that it was real. Um, the acting was pretty good. I mean, you watch found footage films now like Hell House, uh, which I do enjoy most of those movies, but it's clearly acted out and it's not even close to as good acting. You can just immediately tell that it's acted. You, you don't really get the feel of this could be real. Um, I'm sure people and nowadays watching it, watching Paranormal Activity today, um, you could definitely tell it's fake, obviously, but back in 2006 i can definitely see the hype train of people try convincing people that this was real and why this movie was so big because it is fairly well acted um these do f this does feel like a real couple to a certain extent um there's a couple lines and a couple scenes that was like okay that kind of spoils it, it th that doesn't really seem real um you can tell they're acting for the camera and not really what how people would act in real life but for the most part, I think these two characters are acted pretty well. It is Michael Slow and Katie Featherson. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. That is the couple. They play Micah and Katie in the movie. And they're the only two characters in the movies besides a, uh, I believe it's a, either a psychologist or a demonologist um, that comes in and tries to help this family throughout it. Um, he only shows up like twice. But other than that, those are the only two characters in the entire movie which is why it is impressive that they keep it fairly entertaining throughout the movie. I mean, this movie wouldn't be for everyone, but for the most part, they keep it pretty entertaining for only being set in this one house filmed by 
from the boyfriend's perspective 90% of the time or on a tripod and having only two characters stuck in this house, not really stuck in this house, but in this house. For the most part, they keep it flowing pretty well. They keep it pretty entertaining. Um, basically, it's just stuff moves around the house. They hear things, they hear whispers. Like I said, without spoiling it, even though it's almost a 20 year old movie, the ghost or paranormal activity, demon, whatever it is in the house, you find out what it is. I just don't want to spoil it. It is direct directly connected to the girlfriend and her past. It has followed her all the way from a little girl all the way up to now from different houses and stuff like that you learn. The, it just gradually attaches itself to this girlfriend. It wants the boyfriend dead. It wants Micah dead. That's basically all the movie is. It just gradually gets worse and worse. They find out more and more. Um, the Micah ends up buying a Ouija board at some point. It lights on fire, stuff like that. And the demon clearly doesn't want to be discovered or bothered it just wants to get rid of micah and have katie to itself which i guess i just spoiled that it's a demon but i mean the movie's almost 20 years old i thought for a as dated as a film this is you couldn't really make found footage movies like this nowadays it's very much washed out for me in my opinion i think found footage movies are not my type of movies but i can get into some of them like this first one i thought was a pretty good movie this first paranormal activity i thought was a pretty good movie i liked the original blair witch project i thought that one was pretty good um the first hell house and the third hell house i thought were pretty good found footage films you get into stuff like uh the house october built that really corny stuff and hell house is corny but i just i don't know why i dug it more but what i'm trying to say is found footage films aren't really my type but if they're done right and they're acted well, like this first paranormal activity, they can be entertaining. And I think that's just what this one was, was an entertaining found footage film, um, probably very shocking in its time. And it's no wonder that it grossed so much money. This movie is one of the highest grossing movies, I believe. Um, the budget was 15000 and I don't even know how much it made in the box office, but I know it was millions. So it made a ton of money, very, very successful. And I can definitely see why this movie, like I said, was probably very shocking at the time. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give Paranormal Activity a three stars, which for a found footage film, that is pretty good to me. And I could even see myself bumping it up to three and a half someday, maybe. But honestly, for these found footage films and for these Paranormal Activity movies, it's going to be hard to go above a three stars for me for a found footage film, just because it's not my style of filmmaking. It is a unique type of filmmaking, but it's not my style. So it'll be hard to get above a three stars. Three stars is pretty much as good as you can get for found footage, in my opinion. And that this one peaks it. If I have a type of found footage films that I like, this first paranormal activity is pretty much what I like from them. And it gives me everything I want out of a found footage film. So three stars is where I'm going to stick it. If you guys have not seen the first paranormal activity somehow, Go check it out. I believe it's on Max streaming, uh, or you can find the DVD really, really cheap. I have the DVD collection. It comes with the first six, and then it doesn't come with Next of Kin because this came out before Next of Kin. But I think that's streaming on Paramount Plus, which I have. But go check out the first Paranormal Activity. Let me know what you guys think of this movie. What are your thoughts on found footage films as a whole? Uh, we can have a conversation down in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy this series to come. I'm very excited to go through these movies, see which ones are good and see which ones are really bad. I've heard this series has some really bad stinkers, so I'm interested to see which ones those are. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.